Good evening and welcome to the news and sport from ITV Granada. A woman whose brother died sleeping rough has helped launch the UK's first ever pop-up street store for the homeless. Risha Lancaster from Salford set up the charity Coffee for Craig in memory of her brother Craig White. Volunteers donated clothing and shoes and homeless people in Manchester were invited to come and find what they need free of charge. Daniel Hewitt reports. Frank says he can't remember the last time he went clothes shopping. He lost his job in July and fell behind on his rent. He's been living rough on the streets ever since. It's spending the days from 7 o'clock in the morning till half 7 at night, just wandering the streets and I've suffered with blisters, you know, we're just walking down the streets during the day. Um, so I just needed a new pair of trainers. Here's my old pair. I massive holes in it. We're looking out for a coat for you, aren't we? All the time I was working, I was seeing homeless people on the street and I never took a second look at them. I'm experiencing what I walked past previously. I won't be walking past them. And that is the motivation behind Coffee for Craig, a non-profit organisation and the first in Britain to open a free clothing boutique for homeless people. It was set up by Risha Lancaster from Salford in memory of her brother Craig. He died in September last year after sleeping rough on the streets for two years. We were not going to let him die in vain. So what started as me saying on Facebook, do me a favour, if you see a, a homeless person, give him a cup of coffee and say it's from Craig, just snowballed into what we are today. Well, what, Ernie? We're going to get you a new coat, mate. Thank you so much. We don't just work with rough sleepers, we work with the hidden homeless, which are the guys that are sofa surfing, um, the guys that are out there looking for secure accommodation. We're allowing people to come and get some food, reclaim a little bit of dignity. The number of homeless cases in the northwest is estimated to be 800. This event may be a UK first, but organisers say there's 800 reasons why it can't be the last. Daniel Hewitt, ITV News, Manchester.